<clears throat> What's going on you guys, the Keith Carnes here bringing you a new video today obviously. Here is a big story coming out of Mon Manitoba, Canada, all, all the way over in Canada, um, that supposedly a UFO has crashed into Lake Winnipeg. So, you know, you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, that I love covering alien stuff. I'm a huge, <clears throat> I'm a huge believer in aliens and UFOs and all that kind of cool stuff. So, I thought, hey, I better cover this since it's big news and it's interested me. I've been watching some videos on YouTube. I've been doing some uh, research over the internet to find out most of the details. So, I'm going to read this little information here and then I'm going to give you guys my opinion on the situation and what I think. Is it a cover-up or is it truly what everybody thinks it is? And is the government in Canada hiding stuff just like the government does here in America and probably every government all over the world? So let's read. Aren't you excited? So it says, apparently a disc-shaped craft was seen crashing through the ice on the lake. At least one person got photographic evidence, but has since been detained by the Canadian military. How convenient, right? UFO crash in rural Manitoba, Canada. A UFO crash landed into a frozen lake within the last 24 hours on an Indian reservation in rural, in rural I hate that word, Manitoba. <laughs> I have contact with a former resident of the reservation and the family still lives on the reservation and informed them about the situation this evening. Now this happened about a week ago. So as of this recording it was a week ago and today is March 3rd I believe. It also says that I have also been informed that nobody is allowed to leave or enter the reservation at this time and that the military has been going door to door talking with residents. They are telling the residents that they are conducting emergency training exercises and that there has been an extreme cold front in Manitoba over the last two days and it is extremely dangerous to spend time outdoors for any period. So that little thing they're telling residents, if this is even true, that they should not be outdoors at any time, people, UFO believers, conspiracy theorists could say, well that's their way of getting people not to come out and take pictures of the flying saucer being transported out of the uh, lake. Um, it goes on to say, the military, the military has moved in all their equipment efficiently, blocking any view of what they have, cra what may have crashed into the water or what they are doing there. But I'm sure they are recovering the evidence. I will be back in touch with in a few hours. Yada yada yada. So, pretty much, you guys get the gist of it. It's it's pretty much the same thing that happens with every UFO supposed supposed UFO crash. Um. Basically, it's being said that this UFO crashed into a frozen lake in Manitoba, Canada, and has been retrieved by the government, and one person supposedly got a picture of the flying saucer, was detained, um, and the other pictures that I've seen from it only show military vehicles, which doesn't prove anything. So, to be honest with you guys, I really don't know about this one. I don't know if people are just making a big oopla over a training exercise, because, believe it or not, the government does do training exercises, <laughs> even though they seem to use those as the biggest reason for all these unexplained things. Even here in the United States, the government does the same exact thing. Um, I really don't know. I mean, I, I want to believe that this is a UFO that crashed, but even if I do, it doesn't really help us any. Even if I truly believe it is, uh, even if the picture came out of the supposed flying saucer that crashed, it still doesn't 100% prove anything because then you'd have all these people saying, oh, it's fake, and then you'd have believers saying, no, it's real, and then you'd have people like me who are in between who don't really know if it's real or fake but aren't going to judge it either way because there's really no way to judge it. <clears throat> what do I think? It's really hard. It is really, really hard to say. You know, uh, the military telling people they should stay inside, it could be because it has been extremely cold in Manitoba, and they don't want people just to be outside watching them and getting too cold. Or it could be a little more sinister, and it might be because they're hiding something. Maybe. Um, you know, this is really reminiscent of the 1947 Roswell, New Mexico crash. You know, they kept a lot of people away from there. It was originally reported that a flying saucer had crashed, and then the next day they come out and say, oh, it was a weather balloon. I mean, I don't really know how you mistake a weather balloon for a huge flying disc, and there was tons of witnesses who said they saw it go down and saw even alien bodies being extracted from said disc. So, I don't know. You know, the government, they can hide pretty much anything they want, and uh, this could very well be. This could very, very, very well be 
another case of uh, a flying saucer being captured by a government and simply being covered up. Anyway, guys, this is Keith Carnes. What do you guys think? Leave, them, leave your speculations in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.